correct class, so please get out your math books and turn to page 487. 487. Oh, just kidding. Um, 483. 483. 483. So, um, if you could now, uh, if, if one of you could tell me the answer to 8 times 2. Hmm. Jesse. 16 and why? Because anything with a 2 is the other number twice? No. 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 Wait. Oh, I get what you're saying. Wait, what? So you're saying if it has a 2, it's the other number plus another number. Like, if it is 2 times 1, it's 1? It's 2? I see what you're saying, but, like, that's not how I do things. It's not how I do my work. No. No. That's not the right answer. Well, that, that's not the way I do it, so it's it's the wrong answer. Okay. Um, Jeremy. No. No. Yes, it, 16 is correct, but it's still the answer is still not correct because you did not do it my way. No. No. Um, hmm. Hmm, Sebastian. No. No, I'm going to call one more person. Okay, okay. Lily. Still no. No. It's not. It's not my way of solving things. No. No. Let me show you. So, I could just take it. I could take the 8, divide it by 4, and it would equal 12. And I would equal 12. And like, I could just take it, I could subtract it by 14, which would be impossible, right? So we just go taking from the 10, add a one. So it's basically 21 minus 14. And then if you divide it by one, multiply it by 16, then you get, then you could multiply it again by two and get 16. That's how I do things. All right, now that was the correct answer. Now, all right. Bye, class.